Hey guys, welcome to video 2 on adding and subtracting fractions where, as I promised, I'm going to run you through a second method to add and subtract fractions. So I actually, I, pref I personally prefer this method. Uh, once you get confident with it, you'll be able to add and subtract fractions in your head with absolutely no problem. I would at least recommend higher tier people to check this out as it's a very useful technique when it comes to algebraic fractions. So let's get down to business. So it might look a little bit scary at first, but once you get used to it, as I say, you'll be uh, loving it. So what we do, we multiply the bottom of the second fraction by the top of the first, so three times one. Now whatever sign we've got sat between the fractions, whether it's a plus or a minus, goes next. So here we've got a plus, and then we multiply the bottom of the first fraction by the top of the second. And then that's all over the two denominators multiplied together. So it's all over 2 times 3. So if we do those multiplications, 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 1 is 2. And 2 times 3 is 6. And then if we add the tops together, 3 add 2. Is going to give us five X. Job done. Okay, question two. So the bottom of the second times the top of the first, seven times two, and then the sign between the fractions. So here again, the plus, the bottom of the first times the top of the second, five times three, and then that's all over. 5 times 7. If we do the multiplications there, 7 times 2 is 14. 5 times 3 is 15. And 5 times 7 is 35. Then if we add 14 and 15, we get 29 35ths. Jobs are good and again. Okay, question 3. So the bottom of the second times top of the first. So 10 times 4. And then we've got an add. Bottom of the first times top of the second. 9 times 3. And then that's all over. 9 times 10. The two bottoms multiply together. So if we do the multiplications, 10 times 4. 40, add 9 times 3, which is 27, and then 9 times 10 on the bottom is going to give us 90. So now we've got 40, add 27, 67 over 90. Jobs are good in. Okay, so 7 eighths add 1 11. 11 times 7. Add 8 times 1, all over 8 times 11. So, uh, 11 times 7, 77, 8 times 1 is 8, and then on the bottom, 8 times 11, 88. And then up on top, 77 add 8 is going to give us 85, 80, eight. Jobs are good and again. Okay, so let's check out the last addition then. So the bottom of the second times the top of the first. 3 times 3. Add the bottom of the first times the top of the second. 4 times 1. And then it's all over 4 times 3. So if we do the multiplications, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 1 is 4. And 4 times 3 is 12. Then on top, 9 add 4 is 13. 12, which is then going to give us 1 and 1 12 as a mixed number. Okay, let's check out how to do subtraction then. So I haven't set up to here 
that when we do addition, it doesn't have to really matter which order we multiply the top and bottoms of the fractions. But when we do subtraction, it's very, very important that we always do the bottom of the second times the top of the first fraction first. So you might as well always do it this way around, the way that we've always been doing it up to here. Always do it that way around and then you'll fall into the habit. You have to do it that way around when we do subtraction. So let's look at one half minus a third then. So three times one. Now we've got a minus in the middle. Two times one. And then that's all going to be over two times three. So three times one is three. Two times one is two. And then finally, on the bottom, 2 times 3 is 6. And then up on top, 3 minus 2 is going to leave us with 1 over 6. So 1 half minus a third is 1 sixth. Okay, let's look at another one. So 4 fifths minus 2 thirds. So bottom of the second times the top of the first. 3 times 4. Minus the bottom of the first times top of the second, 5 times 2, and that's all over 5 times 3. So then if we do the multiplications, 3 times 4 is 12, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, and then on top, 12 minus 10 is going to leave us with 2. Over 15, jobs are good in. Okay, 9 tenths minus 4 sevenths. Bottom of the second times top of the first. 7 times 9 minus bottom of the first times top of the second. 10 times 4. And then that's all over. 10 times 7. Let's do the multiplication. 7 times 9. 63, 10 times 4, 40, and then the bottom, 10 times 7, 70, that's going to leave us with 23 over 70. Job done again. Okay, 8 ninths minus 3 quarters, 4 times 8, minus... 9 times 3, all over 9 times 4. So, 4 times 8 is 32, minus 9 times 3, which is 27, all over 9 times 4, which is 36. Now up on top, 32 minus 27 is going to leave us with 5 over 36. Okay, one more. So 5 6 minus 3 eighths. So 8 times 5 minus 6 times 3 all over 6 times 8. Then if we bosh out the multiplications, 8 times 5 is 40, 6 times 3 is 18, and 6 times 8 is 48. Now that's going to leave us with 22 over 48. Now that's not in its simplest form, there's a common factor there of 2 and that really is the one downfall of this method. It doesn't always straight away put your answer in its simplest form. But all we need to do is take our factor of 2 and we'll be left with 11 over 24. So that's method 2 guys, that's my preferred method. But as always with the maths, it's up to you to choose which method you prefer to use. Hope it helps.